Um, there is something called law of attraction. Uh, it states that if you affirm something so many times, you will start to believe that this will come true. So like if I keep saying I'm getting a job, I'm getting a job so many times, then I will believe that I will get a job and hence it does come true. Uh, I tried this method and this is real and it works. Uh, but I feel like it might be shit. But then again, I think Allah says that he is as we think of him. And he also says Allah acts according to our belief. So if I make dua to get a job and then affirm again and again that I will get a job, then I will start believing my dua that it will come true. Uh, they say it is kind of science, but I fear this is a trap of the disbelievers. Yes, this is a trap of shaitan. Believing in the law of attraction is a form of shirk. It can be minor, it can be major. When you believe that you have the power to convince yourself that this is going to happen, not depending on Allah Azza wa Jal, not calling Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, rather, oh, my cancer will be healed. My cancer will be healed. I put my hand where it is. My cancer is going to be healed. And I, all of a sudden, mashallah, it's healed. Oh, I did it. I met a brother who is a da'i who had cancer, and he said, I kept on saying this and repeating it, and I got cured. And the NLP and, and the likes and, and, and on all this hocus pocus stuff of, of walking on uh, uh, fire and, 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 and the likes without being harmed, all of this is shirk. You are depending on other than Allah Azza wa Jal, claiming that by repeating something so many times, it will happen. By whose will? I repeated it, it happened. So you're claiming that you have the influence and the power to do things. You didn't do dua. You didn't ask Allah Azza wa Jal a gazillion times so that it would happen. Rather, you depended only on yourself. And Allah let you depend on yourself. May Allah protect us. And this is not permissible at all.